from Indiana's news leader. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News Sunrise. And also more in-depth coverage for you this weekend on your show. Absolutely. We'll have uh, more on the cultural convergence. We will also uh, talk about the Cook Biotech expansion and Klipsch Audio growing again. 50 new products uh, will be released by that uh, new company here in the coming months. We'll have more on that Sunday morning. I have some of the speakers. They sound great. They're great. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. Right. Julia? Live from Wish TV, this is News 8, your 24-hour news station. It is 529 and welcome back to 24 Hour News 8. Instead of going to the movies, a lot of you are installing a home theater or having someone do it for you. That's where CEDIA, the Custom Electronic Design and Installation Association, comes in. Their members are here in Indianapolis for the weekend to see what's new in home electronics. It's not open to the public, so our science and technology guy Steve Bray has your look inside. Big screen TVs, projection screens, twin Marilyn Monroes, speakers, security cameras, and theater seating. It's all on display here at the Indiana Convention Center. CEDIA, headquartered here in Indianapolis, is an organization whose members design and install everything in home electronics. And manufacturers are here to show off electronics they want CEDIA members to install, including some Indiana companies. Uh, so yeah, this, this, there's a little added pressure for this show. One local company that's trying to make a big splash at the show is Klipsch with their new Zone product. It looks like a thermostat, but it's actually an audio switch that controls the audio from any source in the house to any room in the house. And with the acquisition of Zone, we have the only all-digital whole house control system in the industry. This is a huge show for Clip. We don't want to show up at this particular show and, and uh, not look like we're pretty polished. And of course, Thompson Electronics is here. Their big push this fall, thin. This television, less than seven inches deep. Looking around Cedia, it's easy to see that Thompson's competition is widening. There's more competitors coming out with that. Last year, there were just two people. This year, I believe there's five or six different competitors. So there are more and more people coming out with this technology, yes. Is Thompson ready to compete? You bet we are. And while the manufacturers try to get the attention of the nearly 25,000 CEDIA members that will attend this year's convention, those same members are trying to get your attention. And I think there is a perception in the custom installation business that it's only the high end $500,000 to $1 million. You can start a home theater for as little as $5,000, $20,000, but you still need to remember that that home theater needs to be designed for your lifestyle, and that's why we want them to come to the experts to do that. Now, the low-end theaters may not come with the chairs that move with the movie you're watching or the $12,000 racing simulator, but at this show, there is definitely something for everyone. Well, for more information on CEDIA, you can log on to our website, wishtv.com, and click on our Science and Technology section. On one side note, representatives of CEDIA said the expo is scheduled in Indianapolis next year, but due to lack of space, will not return until renovations are made at the convention center. Coming up on Inside Indiana Business. Indy launches a major cultural convergence. Clip pumps up the volume and record enrollment and eye on campus report. Those stories and more next from Indiana's business news leader. This is Inside Indiana Business with Gary Dick. Presented by Ice Miller. Purdue University Research Park. And the Indiana University Kelly School of Business. You're watching Indiana's business news leader. Well, it's high-end speakers aren't the only things making a racket right now. Clips Audio Technologies is turning up the volume in a big way, launching 50 new products in the next six months, the most aggressive growth agenda in company history. The Clips president, Paul Jacobs, joins us now with the story. Paul, welcome to the program. Thanks, Gary. It's good to be here. This is uh, obviously a very aggressive uh, uh, agenda for Clips. 50 new products. Um, what's really driving uh, this, uh, this growth mode? As a company, we've got to take a look at uh, where the industry's going. As it was a traditional cottage-based industry that uh, had two boxes and people listened in two-channel audio. Today, it's about uh, ease of access to, to the content, how much fun is the product to use. In our case, we have 50 new products because we think there's a whole new world opening up right now. And you talked, uh, we talked off camera about the life cycle of a product now compared to, say, 10, 15, 20 years ago. That has changed dramatically. When Fred and Judy Klipsch 
first acquired the company in the late 80s, the life cycle then was about 10 years on a lot of products. Five years ago, it was three to four years. Today, it's about 18 months. Wow, so that really puts pressure on the R&D side. Done right here in Indiana, a lot of it, uh, or perhaps all of it, on the north side of Indianapolis. The Technologies and Engineering Center that we opened a few years ago houses the guys that have to pull this off, and uh, they do a terrific job. All right, let's talk about these products and specifically where they're targeted. Uh, I know you're in, you're in the, uh, the, the retail business, obviously, but also residential contracting is uh, becoming an increasing uh, big business for you. We think that uh, most retailing, particularly the specialty retail side of the business, is going to migrate to installation. It just makes sense. If you can have all of your loudspeakers uh, in the wall, if you can have access to all the content in your home and one keypad in the wall, uh, listen outside, downstairs, wherever you might be, um, that's where we think growth is at. And so these products are focused in that area. What, uh, and to that end, especially on the residential contracting side, you're announcing or have announced uh, an acquisition. We acquired a brand uh, called Zone. Uh, we talked to the people for about eight months, and what we found is some really sharp technology people that had developed a unique product that fit exactly what we needed. Ease of use, high performance, they match our loudspeakers well. And with that acquisition and the 50 new products that Klipsch has, we will have the broadest range of products in the industry. And you'll be making a, a number of big announcements at the CDS show, the big show this weekend in Indianapolis. Uh, give us a, a, a thumbnail sketch of what this means for the Indiana economy, for Klipsch operations here in Indiana, what this, this type of growth, this type of vision can mean for the Indiana economy. Well, we're very clear on that, actually. We, we have a plan for the next several years uh, that in, in addition to residential contracting, growing globally is going to be huge for us, which means we need great people. We need highly skilled people, and we're going to be looking for those people uh, rapidly. All right. Paul Jacobs, Klipsch Audio Technologies, congratulations, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Gary. All right. Well, you can read much more about Klipsch by just logging on to our website, uh, InsideIndianaBusiness.com, clicking on the business spotlight page.